So Thursday was an important day at Pittsburgh Penguins training camp. Hi, I'm Dan Kingerski on the Pittsburgh Hockey Now and the National Hockey Now YouTube channel. We're not going to belabor this and do a full hour-long live chat today, but instead from training camp, in fact, that's the UPMC Lemieux Complex behind me, the Penguins lines as well as the NHL and the AHL groups began to become a bit clearer. There was some mixing and matching on Wednesday. Thursday, clear line between the AHL and the NHL players. Here's the news I think that uh, you'll be discussing. Rutger McGroarty, their top prospect, acquired for Braden Yeager in August with the AHL group. Yessi Pugliarvi obviously had the double hip surgery a bit more than a year ago, fought his way to the NHL with the Penguins last year, but didn't really establish himself. Big first preseason game, scores the hat trick against the Buffalo Sabres NHL regulars. Pooley Arby in the NHL group. And in fact, largely the NHL group would be the players you've come to expect. You know, that's the Kevin Hayes, the Anthony Beauvillier, the Cody Glass, those guys are in the NHL group. Vasily Ponomarev, uh, Tristan Bros, McGroarty, that group with the AHL guys. There are two preseason games coming up this weekend, Saturday in Detroit, Sunday in Sudbury, the Kraft Hockeyville game. Now here's kind of the interesting thing, because they're back-to-back -back games, because they are preseason, uh, and today was the last practice, the Penguins are off on Friday. The team is going to take the entire crew to Detroit for Saturday, and then the players that are gonna play on Sunday will go on to Sudbury. Uh, no, Pittsburgh Hockey now will not be covering both games because it's a nine-hour drive between the two cities and there are no flights that would get you there before the before the puck drops. So we're just going to cover Detroit. We'll let the Kraft and the National people take care of Sunday and, and we'll watch that with you. But I think obviously the, the thing to note about McGroarty and the AHL group, we, we talked on Wednesday in the live chat about it seemed like he was beginning to slip, maybe lose his spot a little bit as the NHL veterans kind of turned up the game a little bit. And McGroarty's skating is a little bit of an issue. His hockey IQ largely makes up for it, but he could stand to add a, a step or, or more to his game. But also, he needs to tighten up defensively. He admitted after uh, I think the second Buffalo preseason game that he was running around a little bit in the defensive zone. So I guess the question will be, can he rise in the game? I'm assuming he'll play uh, in Detroit, but maybe they take him uh, to Sudbury and he plays on Sunday. I, I think Sullivan's going to give these guys another opportunity, like maybe one final chance, maybe two final chances to make the team. That's what he said on Thursday. There are still some guys fighting to make the team. So they're going to get you know, more opportunities to play. I would think McGroarty is chief among those guys. So we'll see who he plays with, either in Detroit or in Sudbury. And if he can tighten up that defensive game, without sacrificing too much of the offensive game. We've seen guys do that, right? Alex Nylander was a prime example, uh, you know, two years ago, in fact, when he got a nine-game tryout, and he was really good in the defensive zone, but he sacrificed his entire offensive identity and personality to, to do that, and he wasn't able to, to balance the, the pair. And so we'll see how McGroarty responds. Now, Pooley Arby, really interesting. He played primarily on the third line. Oh, wait, wait, let, so let me get the, the lines right here. Uh, in the first part of practice, the third line was Kevin Hayes on the left wing with Blake Lazat and Nola Chari. That was forming the fourth line. Cody Glass was cycling in there. Anthony Bovillier, Lars Eller, and Pooley Arby was the third line. Now, later in practice, Cody Glass kind of jumped up to the third line and was was subbing in for Pooley Arvey. So take that for what you will. It looks like Glass is on track, you know, at least today. There's still two weeks to go for that 13th forward, while Pooley Arvey has jumped ahead of everybody to take that third line right wing spot. And Sullivan's trying Kevin Hayes as maybe the offensive component, or Cody Glass as the offensive component with Nolachari 
and uh, Blake Lazat. In fact, check out Pittsburgh Hockey now, PHM Plus. I chatted with both Achari and Lazat about their role, and uh, I think you'll enjoy some of the things they had to say. They both gave a bit of a smirk and a crooked smile and asked about a physical forecheck. Yeah, they, they, they know their roles. That's uh, for sure. So that's how the Penguins lines are cycling out. The top six exactly as it ended last year. O'Connor, Crosby, Rust with Bunting, Malkin, and Raquel uh, on the second line. Bavillier, Eller, Pugliarvi, Hayes, Lazat, and Achari with Glass cycling in. McGroarty over on the AHL side. Again, nothing set in stone. Don't uh, leap to conclusions or assume this is the final version, although I think at this point we probably can say this is the tentative version of the 24-25 Pittsburgh Penguins. On the Pittsburgh Hockey Now, the National Hockey Now YouTube channel, I'm Dan Kingerski. Like, subscribe, and we'll talk soon.